Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be checking this John Deere out. <clears throat> Briggs and Stratton overhead valve V twin, 22 horsepower. Okay, uh, I mentioned before that it was last time we had it out mowing with it, it was backfiring. surging and all kinds of stuff so what I've done is I've loosened these plug wires so I can pull them off with these pliers you gonna want something with a rubber handle or get some rubber gloves and we're gonna see I think it's only running on one cylinder I'm pretty positive <clears throat> so we're gonna see if one of these cylinders is not firing right so let's get into this thing. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. It's just on idle. I let it warm up. And like I said, I've already loosened these plug wires. So I'm gonna pull them off one at a time and see what's going on. Uh, I'll turn you down so it's not going to be so loud for you. Here we go. let's pull them plugs out of there now you guys heard that surging right I know when I did the surging video on this and we fixed that it was another issue but there was a guy who wanted to argue with me up and down a spark plug will not cause surging well you seen when I pulled that plug wire off that created a dead cylinder which simulates a dead spark plug and it started surging so if that guy's watching right now, there's your proof 
Spark plugs will cause a surging engine, you idiot. God, what a moron. All right, let's pull these plugs out. It wasn't running that good when I pulled it around here. So, um, let's go ahead and pull the plugs out and check them. I did put new plugs in it. Uh, I did tune it up. When we fixed the surging issue, I did end up putting new plugs in it, oil change and all that. Uh, so I thought the backfiring was a valve, but it may not be. Let's go ahead and pull these plugs out of here. Okay, so these are 5 8 Now, the spark plug's not the only thing that can cause that. Apparently, I'm getting intermittent spark because when I pulled it around here, I could tell it was only running on one cylinder. Now it seems to be running on two. Could have a faulty coil. You know, something in the coil, one of the coils going bad or something. But let's go ahead. This is just 5 eighths. Here's that plug. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe a little lean. I don't know. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I've seen them a lot worse. Um, let's go around to the other side and get it pulled out. Okay. Now let's yank this one out of here. Boy, it sure was acting like a uh, like a bad exhaust valve. You heard that one backfire? Well, that's what it was doing pretty much constantly. Uh, a little white, but it's not. I, like I said, I've seen them a lot worse. So why do I have intermittent termite? Intermittent spark. Hmm. Okay, well. There could be, you know, maybe a mouse got up in here or something. Uh, I think it's too small for a squirrel to get into, but I'm not saying it can't happen. Let's pull this cover off of here. Got some bolts around here. We'll pull the cover off. I'll get that pulled off. I'll show you which bolts. These two you just loosen. That one you just loosen. Um, I got to pull the, uh, the fan cover off up here on top there. I think it's 5 16 So let me grab some tools. And I'll get this top pulled off. It's kind of self-explanatory. Pull your uh, your air cleaner out, air filter. And um, let's see if there's something up in here that's just not right. Because I'm telling you, when I pulled it around here, you can tell it was running on one cylinder. It was a constant miss. And uh, it's like it didn't have any power, didn't want to come around. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to get that pulled off. And then I'll be back with you. Well, what I'll do is I'll get the bolts out and I'll pull it off on camera. That way you'll see what I'm seeing. Okay, I got all the bolts out. I have not had that off there yet. There is one bolt down in here where the uh, air filter goes. You can use a straight screwdriver, a seven millimeter or a quarter inch i just used a straight screwdriver pulled it right out of there i've got all these bolts loosened up now this thing should come off okay so right now i'm not seeing anything that's jumping out at me uh dead bug down in there I don't see any wires chewed. It, ah man, I don't know. I was thinking it could be, there's um, diodes down in here. Or transistors, resistors. <laughs> the resistors down in here. These coils operate the same. You know what I mean? So, you can see these coils there's a wire running from that coil to that coil there's one running down here and right in here is this resistor I was talking about it could be that but I I really don't think so 
Uh, I was thinking maybe one of them wires got chewed and was shorting out. And I'm not seeing anything. So, uh, with it backfiring through the exhaust, I thought maybe it could be uh, an exhaust valve. But running inter intermittent spark well I don't even know guys if it was an intermittent spark or not because I mean it could be you know running on one cylinder could be one of the coils is bad if I was guessing it would be this side so I'm not seeing anything chewed through anywhere. No mice damage. All right, let me put the plugs in. We're going to start it up and see if we can hear anything through the intake. If we hear something through there, it's not going to be a good sign. Uh, so let me get the plugs in it. We can fire it up. Don't run it too long without your, your cover on here. It will get hot. But we're just going to run it for a minute and let's see see if we can hear any popping up through here okay guys so it's going to be a little loud but i'll turn it down the best i can but if it's making any noise i want you guys to hear it so let's go ahead and fire it up see if we're hearing any popping through here Well, I'm not hearing any popping. And it's running beautiful, so I don't know. I was also looking here as well to see if there's any sparks going on here. Because they don't have rubber grommets on it. Sometimes they'll wear through. That'll cause an intermittent spark. But I'm telling you, when I pulled this thing around here, it was running on one cylinder. I could just tell it. It had no power. Okay, I'm going to put the cover back. I'm going to get this back together. Put their cleaner back in it. And uh, I'm going to drive it around. Maybe cut the front of this yard and see. I know there's not much there, but there is some grass there. And see if I can get it to duplicate it. If not, you can't fix something that's not broken, right? So it's like, you know, I've had I had so many people in my shop bring me a car. The check engine light comes on periodically. And they br always brought it when the check engine light was not on. Well, if it's not on, it's not throwing a code. I can't tell you what's going on. You know, or they'll bring it when it's running fine. Instead of, you know, you just went to the store. It was running like crap. You should have dropped it off to me then. But that's neither here nor there. But it's the same thing kind of here because it seems to be running fine now. But I know when I brought it around here, it backfired twice through the carburetor. I thought I heard something in this area, like a little popping noise. Um, which would me, mean to me either a exhaust valve was stuck closed or you know not opening all the way causing it to come back through the carburetor or a lot of times an exhaust cam your camshaft and exhaust lobe if it's not opening your exhaust valve it will come back through there but that doesn't explain to me why it was backfiring through the exhaust that's usually a sign I'll tell you what that is if it's backfiring through the exhaust usually if it's a valve issue it would be either a cracked valve burnt valve bent valve um because it's not it's not sealing properly also these things are notorious which i thought may be an issue for the valve guides coming loose and coming out 
usually due to overheating sometimes wear can cause that this thing does have a lot of hours on it but usually it's overheating and that'll cause your your valve guide to come out but um but I, you know backfiring through the exhaust i was thinking you know probably just a burnt valve or cracked valve pull the heads i don't know man it, but if it's a if it was a camlo born off it wouldn't run good sometimes and sometimes not it doesn't work that way once that cam lobe is gone it's going to run like crap all the time let me get this put together let me ride it around and see what's going on with it okay guys we fixed it i don't know what the problem was it's running like brand new Also, I got to thinking too if it's a burnt valve or a cracked valve it'd be backfiring all the time not maybe not consistently because as your engine gets hot and cools down so does that does so does the crack in the valve it expands and contracts and when it contracts the crack will get smaller it'll run a little better if it expands the crack will get bigger you follow what I'm saying or run worse so but it's running perfect through here so uh it's it's not out of time which i knew that started too easy uh i don't know why it was running on one cylinder i don't know why it was backfiring we didn't do anything i pulled the plug i didn't even clean in plugs guys i just threw them back in um i don't know it i don't know it's running fine now so I can't figure, so it's, we know it's not a cam lobe. We know it's not a bad valve. We know it's not a valve, a valve, um, a valve guide. The only thing I can, I can guess is it was intermittent losing spark on one cylinder. Um, I thought it was, I thought it was this. Because that's pretty dirty. That's been in there over a year. It's time for a new one. And I took that out. After I pulled it around here. I took it out. It made no difference. It was still. Like I said it backfired through the exhaust. Two maybe three times. And then I heard something through the carburetor. That I'm not hearing now. Uh, we all know that camshafts. And bad valves. And things like that. Don't fix themselves. Uh, electrical issue can I mean it can be intermittent and you know not making the contact it needs and then just all at once start making contacting be that way for a long time but I foresee other issues with this because we didn't fix it so um, yeah it's just common knowledge you know mechanical things don't fix themselves I don't know guys so there's my diagnostic uh, we didn't really diagnose it because I still don't know what the hell was wrong with it. Is wrong with it because it was doing it. All we did was pull the plugs, check a couple things, and put it back together, and it's running good now. So it's not fixed. It'll do it again. Just a matter of when. It could be next year. So when it does it again, you know, we'll we'll try it. So I thought now's a good time. It's running bad. It's backfiring. It's making noises. Now is a good time to put it on camera and it started running fine. So I even mentioned in a couple of my other videos, you know, I think I think exhaust valve's bad because I mean that exhaust under there's the muffler. I mean it was red hot. It was getting red hot. So I said we can't we can't run it like that. You know, we're gonna start a fire or something, but so anyway guys, sorry we didn't get to learn anything. Um, but there we go uh, it's running for now when it starts acting up again be sure to check it then so I don't know well guys if you have any if you had the same problem let me know 
I mean, I've had intermittent spark before like that or, you know, dropping a cylinder, but usually you can see that problem. Usually, like a wire rubbed through somewhere or, you know, a mouse chewed a wire or something and it was intermittently sparking, dropping that cylinder or, you know, a uh, like a bad coil. Coils don't fix themselves. You know, resistors don't fix themselves. You know what I mean? Once once they're going bad, they're going bad, they're bad. Sometimes the coil, after you leave it set and cool down, sometimes, yeah, like it'll shut off, then you leave it cool down, and it'll start right back up, run good for a few minutes, shut down. Well, that's the coil getting hot. That's pretty much self-explanatory. This wasn't doing it. It was running on one cylinder from the time I started it. I could just tell it, you know, you can tell how, how your machinery runs, like your car. If you're dropping a cylinder, you'll know it. You'll know at an idle, you'll know going down the road, it don't have as much power. I mean, I knew it. And then I kicked the camera on and it's fixed. Okay, well, anyway guys, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, gone for now. Again, sorry we didn't get anything done, but, you know, I'll put a new filter in it because it needs one, but that wasn't the problem. Like I said, I pulled that out first. I thought, well, this may be an easy fix, so let me check that. But usually that just bogs down power and it'll like it'll flood out, it'll be blowing a lot of black smoke and because you know it's choking itself out, it's running rich, but it wasn't doing that. But I thought, well, let's give it a shot. And I see now I thought, ooh, that's probably the issue. Well, it wasn't, because it was still doing it. And I decided, hey, let's go get the camera. You know? Well whatever that belt that's a brand new belt look at it son of a god the stuff you buy anymore it's cut the grass one time oh my god right there i don't know if you guys can see that it's ready to oh it's worn almost through it's got a hunk out of it damn it all right well, we're gonna need a new mower belt. That thing's not gonna mow very long like that. I don't know what the hell caused that. Probably just a bad, cheap belt. And the other one was okay. It had a groove around the center of the outside. I probably could have used it, but I told Monkey, I said, nah, I'm just gonna go throw it away. Well, shoot. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Y'all stay safe. Bye-bye and take care.